This is uh, William Noble, PGA Professional at St. Anne's Golf Club. This is uh, stage two of uh, pre-warm-up uh, uh, for competition play and, as I said, for casual golf, but mainly for, uh, competition play. Uh, I'm going to be mainly working on short game and it's a continuing trend working on from what we did with the long game, where at this point I'm trying to get my feels right, working on balance, concentrating on contact, the sound and understanding the playing conditions for the day. Uh, now we're doing this out in the back garden, ideally I'd like to do it on the golf course but I'll talk my way through it. I ultimately carry uh, five wedges, I've got a 62, 58, 54, 50 and a 46 and that's four yards, uh, four uh, degrees of difference between each club. I know how far I hit, hit each one of those with full shots uh, which is what I was talking about in the long game but uh, this is more about generating those fields from different distances and you've got to practice them because there's no way you can develop fields without practicing those specific distances. I like to start with bunker play, which is why the umbrella is there. It represents a bunker. And before I even get into hitting balls, uh, I stand into a bunker and try and get a feel for the type of sand, if it's wet or soft, uh, if it's firm, or if there's a lot of sand or very little sand. And the days, different days it varies, uh, definitely times of years it varies. In the wet season, everything gets firmer and more compact. And in summertime, everything's a lot more fluffier. So you change the types of club you use. So if it's firm, I would always use my lob wedges, my 58 or my 62, because they've got very little what I call bounce, which is this area here. And uh, I, and the reason for that is it allows me to nip it off the sand where I would use my 54 because it's got about 10 degrees of bounce when the sand's a lot softer. Uh, it's because it doesn't dig in as much, it glides through like skimming a stone. But what I do firstly before you even hit a ball is I always draw a line in the sand. I try and hit that spot to get my eye in, literally, and get a feel for how hard I want to hit it. So there's the my line, which is now a flag. I set up to it, try and get a feel, dig my feet in and I'm making practice swings and getting a feel for the pace I want to swing at, tempo, I'm aware of my grip pressure. Keep doing that over and over again. My target is the, the yard, the, the two round, uh, what I call dartboard type things that I want to hit the ball to. From here, they're about 20 yards. I'm just trying to get a feel for the speed I want to swing at with this club every time. And when I'm happy with grip prefer, pressure, balance and tension levels, I step in from here. I'll just move that over so you can see it. And I concentrate on hitting the flag. So I get that every time. And I'll go again. I just keep doing that till I'm happy with the feel. I came back again. I'm getting a feel for it every time. Now, it's the one shot in golf that you don't try and hit the golf ball unless it's a fairway shot where you're trying to clip the ball and not hit the sand. A fairway bunker shot, I mean. So I'm picking the spot maybe about that much behind the ball. For me, it's about an inch. I think the ground's firm for the bunker shots. I'm using my 62. I'm focusing on the spot of it that distance behind the ball. Do one practice swing. I normally grip down the club a little bit. I just feel I want to do that. I get a feel for my balance. So my legs are quite flat, flat flooded. Footed, not flooded. <laughs> and then I just swing to the pace I think I need to to get it out there. It's on the green. Missed the target, but it's on the green behind that. So I've got to swing a little bit slower again. This next shot, still firm bunker shot. Trying to develop my feel for the speed I need to swing at. It's shorter. So this is why we're warming up. And the other thing I'm being aware of is because I can feel the grass is quite heavy here, which represents a lot of sand in the bunker. The club's kind of getting grabbed. It's killing the speed of the club as well. So it's not helping with my consistency. So this is where I might go to my uh, 54, the other extreme. I pick up the club. Again, the other thing I mentioned, I can have it square or slightly open. When I open it up more, it adds more bounce, which basically takes more sand. But for me, it also with swinging the arms up in the air helps to get the ball higher. But again, all I'm developing is feel for pace, tempo, pick my spot in the sand. Yeah, that's much better. So now it's not gripping into the 
uh, it's not being grabbed by the, the, the grass here but or the bunker so it just glides through this heavier grass so now I just work a little bit of my alignment watching where the ball's going as I said with the long game so I have to adjust my body I'm just developing feels that's it and once I'm happy with that I might do that with every club repeat it two or three times over and say right I'm happy with that then I go and work on my pitching so I'll just remove these out of the way here Now from here, it's still a little bit into my long game type swings, but because of full body motions, I'm trying to develop a feel for the length of my swing. So I got a white cone, blue cone, and red cone. They represent for me 75, 50, uh, se uh, sorry, 75, 50, and 25 yards from the green. So again, I would vary my wedges. And again, I will be developing feels for my swing. So 75, I want to hit it in high. I, uh, that's nearly a full lob wedge, so I'd probably go to my 58 degree because I just want to have a soft swing. I don't want a full swing. I want to be balanced while I'm hitting the shot, so I'm going to go to the white. And again, I like the bunker shots. Standing there, feet a bit narrower, developing feel for speed, where the tension that suits my game to keep the control of the club face and my distances. So I hit maybe three, four, five shots to the point where I'm happy. So I set up to this. Got my 58. Ooh. It's in there, a little bit heavy. Okay, and I go again. So I'll develop that again. That's it. I do that three or four times with different clubs. Then I go to my 50 yard shot, which I could stay with a 58, which I think is fine. But I'm gonna hit try and hit a slightly lower shot. Uh, into the green, so I'm going to use my 54 uh, degree. A little bit of bounce. I know the, gra uh, the ground's a little bit rougher here than what we'd have on the golf course. Now I'm going to 50. And I'm, when I'm working on tempo and speed of my swing, this actually varies the speed, but also the length of my swing without having to think about it because I, I'm hitting from different distances, so my body's adjusting all the time, my visual's adjusting all the time, my target's adjusting all the time, my landing area's adjusting all the time. So I'm picking spots to land the ball. So this will be coming in a little bit lower. And land probably a little bit just front of the green, let it release up to the, the flag there. So I'm on my blue target, which is my 50. So smaller movement, it'll pop up, land on my spot and release softly towards the pin, like that. All right, and in reality, that'd be more that type of length of swing. Now I'm actually a lot closer to the green. It's a 50 degree, there's nothing in my way. So I'm going to go to my uh, 50 degree wedge and hit that in because I just want to, I don't want to throw it way up in the air. I'm going to land it just front edge. You're going to release even more because there's nothing in my way. So, and I would even hit high shots from this distance. Again, if there's times there's something in my way, I saw I'm mentally prepared for that. This is all I'm going to get mentally prepared, ticking boxes. So I'll play my 50 degree. Again, developing a feel and working on my tension levels. Feel like what I need to do Play the shot I want to play. Feel quite flat footed. And just play it on. And it'll just land where I want it and release. So I'll repeat that three or four times, hitting low shots, high shots, mid shots, playing around with different clubs that make the shots easier. Picking landing areas. If it's a windy day, I'm going to probably hit lower shots into the greens. And then I play a shot that's kind of in between all of that. And we've just done the bunker shot, the pitch shot. It's called an itch shot. Now an itch shot for me is that shot that's in between a chip and a pitch. So it's neither a chip, which is chip and run shot like a putting stroke, or a pitch, which is a full body arm swing movement. An itch for me is something that you get in nice and close to. And for me is no arms and hands, but just legs. And I'm developing a tempo and feeling the balance in my feet working on the speed I got to swing the club backwards and forwards through my feet not through my hands that's what I feel it that's my feel you might feel it through your hands but you'll probably be doing the same thing so it's that shot where it could be 25 30 yard shots where I don't want to be swinging the club way up in the air and losing control over the boat the club face the speed and the bounce 
So I'll get in there. I just have to grab a few balls. And I'll play them from here and there to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So a narrow stance, again, speaking spots. So I've got, uh, there's a red marker up halfway up there. That's where I want to land the ball. It's probably about 15 feet in front of me. Ooh, so you can see me. All right, so there's a red mark up there. I'm standing there, feeling the weight a little bit more centered or even a little less sided. And I'm just gonna feel through my legs. Virtually no hands or arms standing closer to it. Quite upright actually. Not as upright as it would be for a chip. And just developing feel and balance. I'm picking my spots. Oh, nearly hit it. So that's a 15 foot. And I can, again, go to the green with this one, which is the flag down there. That's about 20 feet away. Developing my fields. So a bit more upbeat. But being a little bit closer, and just using my legs, I feel controls the path, but also my speed. If I use my hands, lock and vary with the club face. So I feel this works. And these are the boxes I'm ticking all the time. Oh, perfect. So, recap. I'm basically varying the shots I'm playing. From bunker shots, getting a feel for the sands on the day, how I feel. You know, where are my tension levels, my balance, my tempo. Really, really important with every part of your game. And visualizing shots all the time. It's more instinctive golf. Not really working on technique. Every so often I throw out a few technical words out there for you, for you to be aware of, but I'm never thinking about it. It's all about fields, tempo, and balance, and mentally being aware of the conditions of the day, the surfaces I'm playing off, the contact, the different clubs, the different shots. So I'm ticking box, hitting high, low, fade, draws. All those sort of things with long game, short game. I, I hope you've enjoyed this. The next day.